I began these small uh, small paintings in Italy in 19, uh, 1998 for the first time and made about 360 so far. And uh, it's, it, they started out really uh, as simple sketches. I always make a simple sketch and uh, people it'd be easier for people, but instead of that, they turned into real paintings. And in fact, some of them took a long time and some of them took a short time. But this piece makes me feel as if there's a certain peace going on. And uh, the woman trimming the flowers, and the flowers are one, they call her as one. But uh, she's in, in the probability that she's created, and that is a, a moment in time when she can be alone with herself in trimming. This painting is, a, is an oil painting, and it's uh, called Ship of Fools. And uh, it, it is the clear condition of the gathering of fools together in their rickety ship, going from one place of probability to the next place, unless they dip over and sink. And in a way I think sometimes of the society being that way, like a ship of fools all jammed together. And these are this was made about three years ago. And it's also made in a very uh, <coughs> combination of very ancient uh, techniques of oil painting. It's uh, overlaid with glaze and, uh, and oil. It took a long time to make this painting, but uh, I, I like it. It's, uh, it's not a painting, I don't think, that makes the societies all as idiotic as they seem at first, but just a, a painting that shows that probability, which is so common, of people gathering together, jamming themselves into a tiny vehicle that they've chosen. It, it takes them somewhere else and that's all just somewhere else everything is a is one thing in some way we don't understand it can't possibly be two things and so within that are our probabilities that we create that are there that are creating themselves for us we find ourselves in and um, to become aware and knowledgeable about that is uh, a way to escape uh, from the, uh, the uh, unfortunate uh, situations that happen by being caught up in a negative probability structure like this one, like the ship of fools. I, th I think my work uh, does the same thing to other people as it does to me. Um, I don't have an idea when I start to paint. The painting simply emerges from the subconscious and uh, collective conscious. And um, in that way, uh, people find myriads of uh, things themselves that I'm well, myself I've never seen, never intended or didn't intend to put into the picture. So I, I'm just as uh, enlightened as uh, they are. 
and buy a picture I make like this, for example, that um, is complex. And even the ones that are not complex, they're uh, also of importance. In the, in the art I make, right? this is what I mean by importance. So the name of this painting is The Man and the Eggplant. And I was just looking at an eggplant one day and I thought, my God, you know, what if I lived in the eggplant? And that was it. And it rocked back and forth and I, I just took down forever out of the eggplant and saw what was going on. And then I started thinking, well, how many human beings are trapped like that? They're in an eggplant world where they're, they have a window, a chair, and the world goes by, and the eggplant is there, and they're in it. It's as simple as that. What kind of a probability is that? So it's very curious for me. The man in the eggplant. Yeah, I originally made this sketch of this painting by I mean, because I saw a guy standing in those clothes in uh, in the middle of the street in Florence, Italy, around 1998, and. Uh, I made maybe four paintings of the, this guy, and I have no idea who he was, why he was there, or anything else. So in this painting, I put him in the woods, but to me, he represents a completeness, a person that requires no one, or nothing, and is. Uh, so completely emotionally, mentally self-sufficient and can be placed or place himself in any circumstance and it will be just fine. I suppose I could call it the man with the red clothes. This painting is called Mother Earth, and uh, the painting is a painting which uh, tries to give the feeling that the Earth is a living being. We come from it, go back into it, come out of it in electric, electric forms, and uh, that Mother Earth is a uh, timeless and has been here since the earth was first formed and will be wherever the next earth is formed. So it's a kind of uh, symbol of a, of a force of nature that uh, allows us to live and enjoy what we see and and experience and so I call this painting Mother Earth for that reason.